Hello YouTube, I hope you're all doing okay, my name is the Xbox Nut, and this is going to be the first video in my series of how to com how to make a complete 7 segment and display 7 segment display, sorry, and decoder um, version 2 updated for 1.8.21, sorry, point one. That's point one. Although it'll probably work for uh, 1.9, I've got a lot of requests saying don't bother waiting for 1.9, so that's what I'm going to do. And I was spending a couple of, um, well, I don't know how long, but I was spending some time trying to optimize the design. I kept the same decoder because I quite like how easy it is to program and how uh, e uh, user friendly it is. But I thought I did quite well in compacting the back of the screen. I First of all, you might notice that I changed the display to pistons. I used, I think, what's called a piston ret retraction design, which essentially means that it uses the shading of the smooth lighting mechanism to uh, augment the presence of the numbers. So if I show you, it doesn't work too well without smooth lighting, as you can see, but I might uh, include a tutorial on how to do the normal piston where it just pushes it out. Basically, all you do is... Well, I can tell you later, but essentially you take off the first layer of the wool and you invert all of these uh, inputs, and I'll show you how to do that if we need to. So, this is the product that we will be making. We might add a counter on the end or a simple way of putting in numbers, maybe a binary version, but this is essentially what we're going to do. It's only, is that five, five wide, including the pistons, and then you have the two wool. So, uh, anyway, let's... That's what it looks like from the back. Let's uh, get started with this. So, what we first want to do is find a bit of space. I've extended my uh, my stone floor, and I'm going to put it around here just in case it gets a bit big. So, you can have it as wide as you want, really. But uh, if you want, you know, the standard design, it's basically three, and then you put a couple of bits of wool. And then I think I just improvised and uh, I guessed and eventually it, it hit the same or the right amount as uh, that one over there. So luckily we were in creative mode and there is a really cool feature. Cool. Well, sorry. <laughs> we are in creative mode, which is a really cool feature. And uh, it allows us to fly and to have unlimited blocks. So we love creative mode, or at least I do. I'm sure you guys do as well four on that side, let's put another two here and let's get started with the pistons so we're on the first level you need some sticky pistons I don't think we'll need uh, any repeaters yet so you want the pistons one further back, I'll do the uh, the bit where the piston is going to stand on in green so hopefully that helps and we'll get rid of the green later so essentially what you have is um, it might be a bit hard to see with only one layer but I'll give you the basic outline of how it works didn't mean to do that so basically when it's off it will be uh, pulled forward like this like this so you can't see it but when it's on the pistons will retract taking the cloth with them and you'll have a nice segment to display your numbers on so let's get the other segments done this is uh, um, in creative mode if you want to fly by the way I didn't actually work it out for a while you have to double double uh, press or, uh, the jump button or it might just be space actually it took me a while to figure that one out actually I was wondering if it was a mod that the person was using, but um, I didn't really believe that because they're not really uh, into mods. So anyway, let's continue with our display. God, I really do love this uh, creative mode flying thing. It's so useful. So we're doing this, putting it on. If it gets dark, by the way, I will uh, quickly skip to day if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> Making the display. You can choose. Uh, you can use any color wool you want, really. I just happen to use white because <laughs> I could use black. Um, black or white is the best. 
I think maybe a, a black. I, it's better to keep the same uh, the same color for the wools. Uh, sorry, that's a segment. It's better to keep the same color for both the uh, segments and the background so that they don't look stupid because you'll see the same color repeated if you uh, understand what I mean. Basically the segments when they're off are camouflaged because obviously when they're off they're like that, they're camouflaged whereas if you have a different color they'll stand out so the the whole retraction mechanism is pretty pointless if you change the colors and even though I love this flying thing it does get on my nerves when I do it wrong making the screen, making the screen <laughs> oh, that was a bit too early. You didn't mean to do that. Almost done. Ah. Hopefully, uh, everyone who's watching this has seen my previous uh, seven segment display videos. I hope they helped you a lot guys. I know a lot of people only know me because of those uh, tutorials, that's why I've decided to make a v updated version. And uh, I hope you choose my tutorials over anyone else's because I like to think that most other people's tutorials are based off mine anyway. But that might just be me being a bit cocky. So anyway we have our display complete. I think it's three off. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it four. Um, just because I'm... No, I'm not actually. It'll, it'll take a while. I'll do that later. Okay, so let's start putting the pistons on. It's quite... Uh, I suppose I've made it, my, uh, made it difficult for myself. If we, uh... Punch out these. And we'll just extend it one back. Grab your pistons. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh, sorry. Did that wrong. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, I didn't. What am I thinking? Okay, and then you put your wool back. And there you go. So we'll just punch out the holes. And then we'll fill, we'll, uh, rah, fill them back in when we're done with them. So you just put another one down. You could probably, uh, Guess the other segments from here. So there's gonna be one there, and we're just, as I said, punching the holes out and then filling them back. F one, f filling one back uh, behind them, so that we can put the pistons in. So let's do that with the segments that we've just filled out. I apologise in advance if I'm lagging a bit because I can feel that I am and it's quite annoying feeling holes feeling holes feeling holes do 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 pistons I love you but you're quite annoying so once you've filled in your, uh, once you've put in the pistons for a segment, you can cover it back up. Make sure there's a piston behind each segment. I know I haven't done all of them yet. Have I done these ones? No, that's why they're there. And you can choose any colour you want to, uh, make this display out of. I'm, I was wondering if I should do like a really cool like a really obscure colour like uh, magenta or red Ooh, red's not that obscure but you understand what I mean those those are those things might be quite cool quite cool to look at boom 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 wool 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 got our pistons here wool 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 oh went out of flying mode there And I love how it's extended the uh, reach of the player as well. 
Oh, I got a text. Lovely. Okay, so we've done all of that. Now we can go behind. Taking out the wool. And as I said, um, if you don't really fancy this retracting piston design, you can just well I'll get onto it later in the uh, later in the episodes but you I will teach you how to uh, adjust it because I, ju I, I adjusted it with my one actually really recently in like five minutes basically my design here I don't want to show it too much because people might copy it before I release the next episodes but for these segments you can just put inverters here like this and put a block on above them and these things invert them and then uh, basically when you switch on a different one because it's inverted, it, instead of the pistons going in, they'll go out. And then you take off this first layer, and so you've removed it. And so these pistons will come out when it's on, instead of when it's off. And uh, it's quite a clever system, I like to think of. So, yep, that's going to be the first episode. I'm going to finish off the size of this display, and then we're going to come back next episode and start wiring the back. So, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode and you stay for more. So see you later.